actually, at the time, it was like 2008, I flew down to Jacksonville, that's where Jim lives. Uh, things weren't great for me at, in Iowa, and I needed a break, so I went down there and uh, to his house and was just digging through all his hard drives of stuff that he, because the way that he records his ideas, is, I mean, that's literally what they are usually, is just, he'll just throw on a click track or a drum beat and just jam. And I came across what would become the main riff for Absolute Zero, and he had like a double time beat to it. And I'm like, oh man, if this has the, the straight four on the floor, this riff is gonna be so heavy. So um, to see it, you know, to evolve into that song, you know, from back then, and it, it's probably my favorite riff, musical moment. Um, it's probably the trilogy, or what we call the trilogy on part two which is the three songs connected, Blue Smoke, Do Me a Favor, and uh, Conflagration, all, just the way that they all flow into one another, and it's just, it's a complete ride, but it, you know, it's like nine minutes long or 10 minutes long, but it doesn't even seem like it's that long. It's just, it's, I'm really proud of how that came out. Well, the thing I really wanted to do, well, between Audio Secrecy and, uh, and doing these, I have finished taking some courses at Berkeley Online uh, School of Music. And uh, when it came to the guitar solo, I wanted, I've always had been fascinated with the Eastern sounding stuff. And when I sat down to do some of the solos with Dave, I had like charts because he was laughing at me at all these charts with all these weird scales and stuff. And I was like, I really want it to, I mean, it's going to be guitar, but I want the phrasing of it to be you know, not the guitar, you know, so, and have almost that Snake Charmer flute and type vibe on a couple of the songs, and I feel like I've pulled it off. There's a couple moments where it's just, it's not your traditional guitar phrasing or scales that you would normally hear on a rock tune, so. Well, there's tons of players. Um, I mean, I could go all the way back to me being five years old with Kiss and Ace Freely to, you know, um, you know, guys today. Um, Paul Gilbert, as a guitar player, has probably had the biggest impact on me uh, from, a, from a lead standpoint. You know, the typical shredders that you would probably think so, uh, you know, Gilbert, Satriani, and Vi, from, from a rhythm guitar standpoint, it's all the thrash metal guys. You know, from the big four, or, yeah, I mean, I'll go beyond that and I'll throw in Testament um, and Overkill and all that. That's like my favorite style of music. So all those guys were a huge influence on me.